Okay, Hebrews chapter 10, 35. And the Apostle Paul, again running to those which are under his stewardship, was informing them and encouraging them not to cast away their confidence. Now, to cast away your confidence, which has to do with abandoning your priesthood. What is your confidence? Well, your confidence has to do with the tools which you're utilizing for your faith and also to have a good conscience towards God. We also see in that first covenant okay, that the tools were the confidence of the priesthood. Okay, the tools which the priests used in the tabernacle, which Moses received by the revelation of the Spirit, 
was for the confidence of the faith of those which served the tabernacle. They understood their responsibility to engage themselves with these sanctified points of contact, wherein God, through these points of contact, would, would be their shield, their fortress, their high tower. He would be their armor. He would be uh, the captain of the hosts for them. You can read about this in the book of Psalms. Now, what transpired there within that first tabernacle, okay, for the confidence of the saints of that first covenant, is also uh, the confidence for our faith today as concerning the tools of the second covenant. As we utilize the tools of the second covenant, prayer, preaching, prophecy, gifts, callings, the grace of God, government, truth, and spirit, we have confidence within our salvation knowing what the will of the Lord is. Knowing what the will of the Lord is, okay, is an important factor for us to have a good conscience towards Him. Okay, now those which are outside of covenant are always wondering what the will of God is for their lives. Okay, so they wander into error. Okay, and wandering into error, Satan uh, dominates them in, through the imagination with fables. Okay, everything within the house of Bell is a hit and miss system. A right, hit and miss system, which has to do is that they try to isolate uh, God's compassion towards them. God answers a prayer. They isolate okay, the uh, the answer to prayer, which was given to them through God's compassion. Okay, and then when when they isolate it, they also take ownership of that with their logic. By taking ownership with it, their logic, they, they begin to extrapolate another gospel out of it. We can see this happening again and again and again through uh, all the uh, televangelists. God in his compassion initiates goodwill okay, towards those who petition towards him and regarding a healing or answer prayer. But under the shadow of Satan's kingdom in the house of Bel, those preachers of unrighteousness, not understanding what the record of Christ is, isolate the gifts from the stewardship. When you isolate the gifts of the Spirit from the stewardship, it begins to go into the direction of fables. And we see this today, as the Apostle Paul warned the church, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth, and that the truth itself would be a burden, and that they would freely give themselves the fables. We read about that in Timothy. So, no, we're not casting away our confidence. So, I like the word confidence there in verse 35. He was 1035. Cast not away through your, therefore your confidence. Okay, now our confidence involves our labor, our sowing, okay, our sowing of faith, and our rest. These elements are included within our confidence. Okay, because the peace of God will rule over you and rule in your hearts, okay, through the stewardship and through the activity of your priesthood. Okay, the priesthood of God okay, has been provided for your faith and is tailored to your diligence. The more diligent you are in sowing the things of the covenant, okay, the more involved God will be in your life. The more you sow, the more you grow. Now, as we read on here, we can see the rewards of your sowing. So he says, Cast not away therefore your confidence, which has great recompense of reward. I also highlight the word reward there in verse 35, because we're talking about the harvest. Okay, within that harvest is the witness, the peace, Okay, and also the fruit and the glory. Okay, that we glorify God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, how do we glorify God through our Lord Jesus Christ? 